Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you the updated version of the DaVinci Resolve uh, Thunderdome layout. So the last one I put out for the, with the template, it took a long time, and I mean it was really time consuming to just drag and drop your videos and then copy over the settings over and over again. So this one is a more updated version that will hopefully make the process a lot faster. Again, this is only on DaVinci Resolve 18 beta. Uh, if you want the After Effects version, and you can, of course, ask for it. I think it's in the pins in one of the channels. Just go ahead and check that. Uh, or you could look at the link in the description in my last uh, outdated version of this. But anyways, let's get right into what I changed about this one and what makes it faster. So as you can see, right off the bat, it's not a perfect uh, template. It's still, like, pretty messed up. Like, there's still a lot of stuff that you'd probably want to change. Uh, and that's probably the only downside to this template is that there's not a lot of customizability, customization, that's the word. There's not a lot of customization in this uh, in this one. It's more than drag and drop and it puts the middle of the Titantron there. So it's not a perfect system, but it's definitely a lot faster. And I'll show you, I'll go ahead and show you how to use it. Personally, I think it's a lot faster if you use a mix of this version and uh, you use the old uh thunderdome layout a mix of both of them i personally think it's better if you use a mix of both of them because i feel like it'll just it'll allow you to have that customization along with having it be a lot faster and i'll go ahead and show you how to use both of them so uh let's start off with showing you how to use this one now this one is extremely easy uh so right here on the edit page normally you start off right here on the cutting page so you're going to make your way to the edit page and then you're going to go ahead and make your way to the fusion page, which is the next tab over. And as you can see, there's this huge, huge line of nodes here. And you're not going to have, you're, you're, these are all probably going to be errors. And again, you're going to make your way to the Google Drive file in the description below. And you're going to download the Thunderdome PNG. And you're going to want to plug the Thunderdome PNG into here, into this fusion timeline. Just drag and drop it in here. And you're going to set it as... Uh, plugging into the yellow part of merge 1 and it's also going to plug into the green part of merge 17 all the way at the end here hey everyone it's post recording ben here um there's one thing that i left out that you should probably definitely need to know uh in order to get this screen to display on your screen uh what you need to do is you're going to make your way over to the fusion tab and you're going to make your way to the media output which is over here media output 1 and you're going to click not one, you're gonna click two on your keyboard while you're pressed in on it to have this display on your screen. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. And uh, just so that you know how to move across the uh, fusion timeline, again, it's use your mouse, your middle mouse wheel to move around, you hold it, and then you can zoom up and you can move up and down by scrolling with it. And then also if you hold control and you start uh, scrolling with your mouse wheel, it'll zoom in and out, uh, so yeah. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do this. Uh, so all these media inputs at the top right here, you're just going to select all of them when you're going to change your trons. And you're simply going to just delete them. That simple. You're just going to delete all of these media inputs at the top that are connected to these polygons that go into the transform nodes. And um, it's, a, it's a simple drag and drop. So let's say I wanted to add... Jurassic Express's uh, Titan Tron into here. I drag and drop the video file, and you could see if I just move this screen over. You could see if I delete media in two, it deletes this middle one, right? So what I do is just drag this here in in front of the transform, and I grab this little node right here, plug it in, boom, there it is. Now the video plays, and it's a perfect mini-tron. That's the thing. The mini-trons, the three mini-trons right here, along with this long right here, they are perfect to fit the entire thing here, especially with this one, and maybe not this one. You'd probably want to change these. But you can see there's a lot of, like, things that bleed out right here that I still need to fix. Um, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. You just plug it in, and as long, along with the polygon ones, the polygon is pretty hard to explain. So basically it takes the middle of the of the video and it's putting it it's displaying it in this uh masked way. So if you want to fix the mask, what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to the polygon settings 
and you're going to make your way to center Y so that you could drag it up and down or center X if you want to do it left to right. And if, let's say I wanted more of the hook to show up. I'd grab the Y and then I'd start dragging it down. And then it's going to move the tight, it's going to move the mask down the video. And you're going to grab the transform node. And you are going to use these controls or you're going to use this big control right here. Okay, so you're going to use this control right here. And you could click on the red and then you could use your, uh, your arrow keys on your keyboard to move it up if you want for a more, uh, you know, like exact positioning. And then you just move it back up and boom, you've resized the Titan Tron. And of course, you can make it uh, wider uh, by, like, let's say I wanted to make this one wider because you see there's a little bit that bleeds through here. So I'm going to look for that one by clicking on the transform node and you see this one selected. So you see it's not that long on the bottom. So what you do is you would either click this and then you drag it down a bit. Oh, but uh oh, the top bleeds in now. There you go, I fixed it. <laughs> so that's really it. It's really cool to see that this is a lot faster, but it still needs to be worked on. So the way that I would probably go about mixing it is I would probably do all the mini trons. I'd probably fill everything. I'd probably just drag, drop, and replace everything. And then when I'm done with that, I would go over here to export and then I'd export it. Oh wait, before I do that, if you want to make the uh, videos like last a lot longer, because you see this is only many up here. It's this is only a minute and one seconds. Uh, you could drag this to make the videos go longer. But like, let's say you wanted to make a custom Minitron and stuff, so you would just plug those in and then you'd export it, and then you'd come over here to the uh, old layout, and then you would bring the thing over here, the exported one. And then you'd put the another Thunderdome PNG on top of it, right? And then you just uh, drag these out and then take the fusion nodes and then actually edit it here and then re-render it. That's really the fastest way to do it because it gets some of them done really fast and so on and so forth. So yeah, I hoped this helped. Of course, the uh, link for the layout will be in the description below. Uh, and yeah. That's basically it. I'm really excited to try using this. As you can see, I'm working on Hook. If you want to download my GFX, that will be in the link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one.